Hey guys, welcome back. In uh, today's video, we will be covering the SAML 2.0 implementation for the identity providers under access management. So I will be using the same Okta developer account for uh, provisioning the uh, SAML 2.0. Let me show you the AnyPoint platform. So this is the AnyPoint platform. I will click on this identity providers and within the drop down, you can see this SAML 2.0. Okay, uh, so I will be starting uh, configuring this particular thing. So first thing first, uh, it is giving me an option to download a particular certificate platform signing certificate. So I, I have downloaded it. Now rest of the things will start configuring the things from uh, Okta account. Okay, so this is my Okta account. I am just logging into it. It will take a couple of seconds. Okay. Now I will click, uh, this is on the classic UI. I will click on add application. Now here I will search for MuleSoft. So MuleSoft AnyPoint uh, platform. I will click on add button. So this is the application level and I am fine with that. Uh, I will click on done. I need to assign some users to it. So assign to user. I will assign this one. Seven go back. Assign seven go back. And this one as well. Seven go back. I will click on done. After that, I will click on groups as well just to make sure I am uh, connecting to all the available uh, everyone user. One second. Let me go back. So this was it and I was configuring uh, it and it uh, somehow I lost the control. So assign to groups again, click on assign. Assigned is now disabled. So it means it is being added, click on done. And we are pretty much uh, done with it. Now what I will do, I will click on this general tab just to show you some couple of things like it is giving me this app embedded link and global settings, all, all this stuff. VPN is being disabled for now. And if you are connecting onto a, a VPN based uh, endpoint platform setting, uh, you can enable it. Click on, on this sign on and click on this edit button. Okay. And enable single logout. It will ask for signature certificate. So browse and locate the same PEM. Uh, so this is the latest one which I have downloaded. I will click on it. I will click on upload. Pretty much done. Now I will click on this view setup instruction and let's see what is in there. So now it is giving me the exact uh, instructions like how to configure it. It is asking me to go to the assess management, look for the SAML 2.0 and within the sign on URLs, copy, the, copy paste this particular line. Okay. So I'm on my AnyPoint platform sign on URL. I'm going to copy paste this sign off URL. I will go back and I will copy paste this again. For the issuer, uh, I will go back over here. I will copy paste this thing. Public key, it's there just over here just copy paste this entire line copy paste here audience uh, it is saying uh, just locate for the issuer and copy paste the last line of it okay so it means this one control c just copy paste it over here and after that it is asking me to add uh, this dot any point dot .com. I will do the same. So that is pretty much done. Click on this both. So user uh, name attribute, uh, it is saying leave it blank to map it with name ID and similarly for the rest of the attribute. So I am pretty much good on that. I'll click on this create button. 
and it is uh, it is done i will go back over here and see if there is anything left i need to do so this is to enable the single logout in case uh, you are interested we can we can uh, do this as well so what we need to do in octa select the sign on tab for the microsoft okay i will do the same so instead of email uh, email attribute map the same and for the username use the email again okay and this is what they have set up just click on save and we should be okay so this is pretty much done uh, let's see if there is anything else uh, okay we are pretty much good so what i will do now i will sign out from here i will sign out from here as well okay and now i am going to log in with uh, this particular uh, one second let me open a, another instance so any point.mulesoft.com and i will put one more tab and i will try to log in with my normal credential that is this one click on sign in so it is now saying you are being authorized to use this uh, platform now i am able to sign in from here right so i will i will do one more thing i will go back to my uh, notes once again and it is showing me all the things like it is showing me all the things related to like uh, uh, how it will enable the sso so if i click on uh, on this particular sign in let's see i am on to the same page of it i am just checking couple of things uh, the users i am able to see all the things it is getting twice because uh, earlier it was already there but uh, i have repeated it so not a worry i will sign out from here and uh, what i will do i will put uh, this one now on the top of it you can see uh, sign in with ibm to assess mules of any point platform so i am going to do the same i'll click on sign in and here you can see it is now logging into the mulesoft.com and uh, i am being logged in with uh, this particular email id so what i will do i will do one more time uh, i will come out of it uh, one moment I'm just trying to locate uh, one second guys uh, let me try to open in uh, cognito so uh, basically dev and this one now i will put on the same details once again and let's see what happens it is showing me like it is being active now so if you click on this uh, it will start the uh, sso login single sign on login but what if uh, i am logging in with some different user so let me sign out from here and use some uh, different user i'm going to log out from here once and uh, logging in again here it goes and it will redirect me to the anypoint mulesoft uh, platform 
and here you can see uh, I am being logged in again. So this was the uh, very short uh, uh, video about how we can do the single sign on or you can say the oh, sorry SAML 2.0 uh, login for any point platform using uh, Okta tile account. So the same thing will remain uh, even if you are using a full fledged account and the license version of it. The main uh, thing was that Okta was giving the option of uh, setting up this particular application. So that's the good thing about Okta. And I hope you like this video and thanks for watching.